How often do you actually set an intention before you do something throughout the day? In this video, I wanna break down why intention setting is one of the most important and crucial ways to really fully experience and benefit in your life. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. One of the most important things that I've been doing lately is setting intentions for everything that I do. And the reason that that is so important is because without an intention, you are essentially doing something in the dark. You're doing it blindly. And so by setting intention, you're able to one, prepare for what you are about to do, but two, have the correct energy to match the thing that you are about to do. So for example, one of the things that a lot of religions had started to do and it kind of fell off and went into a different route is setting intention prior to eating. If you do this, and sometimes that is called prayer, but it can be whatever you'd like it to be, then you are intending and setting that intention more that the food that you're eating, you're thankful for, and the nourishment is going to come over your body. And by doing that alone, you're activating the parasympathetic nervous system, calming down and getting ready for whatever that is that you are going to do. Another major area that this is in is doing psychedelics. So for instance, in my microdosing video, I talk a lot about how mushrooms can and help with many different uh, things throughout the day. But one of the things that a lot of people don't do, which they should be doing, but one of the most important parts of taking something like psilocybin, microdosing, or macrodosing is to set the intention prior to use. When you do that, you are then in a better mind state and you set the container in a space that allows you to then grow from versus doing something that is going to just go off the rails and bring you down some dark rabbit hole or make you do something you wouldn't want to do. So setting the intention is incredibly important. The last example that I'm going to give is setting the intention when you are going to look for a partner. If you're going to look for a partner and all you do is find them on dating apps or in the bar, it's likely that you're not going to find the person that you want because the intention was to quickly find someone versus intention based finding a long-term sustainable relationship where the container and the previous energy that you are actually taking to that relationship started in a place that looks for long-term sustainable and looks for good habits. So that is why I have been setting intentions lately. And here is the easiest way to do it. Just simply take a few moments before you are going to do something. Maybe that's going to the gym, maybe that's eating, maybe that's doing psilocybin, maybe that is entering a relationship or going to look for someone to enter a relationship, or maybe that's even just going to a networking or mastermind event. And before you do that, take a few moments to just take a breath in and then truly think about what is your intention behind this? Not the intention that you think you should have, but the intuitive intention that you feel inside of you because intention comes from the intuition. And the more that we get in tune with our intuition, the easier it is to figure out our true intention and then match reality with our expectations. So that is why we all need to set intentions more throughout the day. If this video helped you in any way, press the like button. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Mm -hmm.